Hi everyone, I am Lokesh Pandey along with my team member Mayank Prajapati are going to represent our final year project under the supervision of Professor Komal Rani. Our project ID is 53 and project title is Garbage Classification System using Deep Run. Garbage pollution is one of the most significant environmental issues in the modern world. The importance of recycling is well known, both for economic and ecological reasons. And the industry demands high efficiency. Current studies toward automatic waste detection are hardly comparable due to lack of benchmark and widely accepted standards regarding the used matrices of data. Those problems are addressed in our project by providing a critical analysis of over six existing waste datasets and a brief but constructive review of the existing deep learning based waste detection approaches. Our project collects and summarizes previous studies and provides the results of authors' experiments on the represented datasets. All intended to create a first replicable baseline for garbage detection using deep run. As we know that garbage management is a major and unsolved issue across the country. Many countries have unique garbage management policies. There is no established method to manage the garbage appropriately. Proper waste recycling can give good profit to the government. That's why we propose an automation technique to detect and categorize waste properly. Garbage classification is an important stage in enabling cost-effective recycling among the tasks required for recycling. In this research, we try to recognize single waste objects in photographs and classify them into recycling categories. So, we have created our own data set with the help of available data sets on Kaggle and Google.com. Of six garbage items that are cardboard, paper, glass, trash, metal, and plastic. As you can see here is a data set of paper having 594 images. Similarly, plastic having 482 images. Trash having 137 images. Glass having 501 images. Metal having 410 images. Cardboard having 403 images. We have also use data augmentation to increase our data set in which every single image as shown is modified in terms of height and weight and color multiplied accordingly this increases our data set 2000 times in our model now here is our literature work where we analyzed work of other people and compared their results to find out the challenges that occur due to improper management of garbage. These paperwork have helped us most to understand our project and work on it. Here is our proposed work. We have used a pre-trained VGG16 model in which we trained our own data set attain higher level of accuracy. So basically VGG16 is a convolutional neural network that is 16 layer D. You can load a pre-trained version of the network trained on more than a million images 
from the ImageNet database. The pre-trained network can classify images into hundred and thousands object categories, such as keyboard, mouse, pencil, and many animals. Out of all the models available, VGG16 turns out good to give a better accuracy among all. It gives a good accuracy overall depending on the system used for classification. Here are the technologies that we have used in this project. We have used front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and back-end technologies like Python, Flask, TensorFlow, OpenCV, etc. We have simply used a Flask module to display the prediction of garbage images items to a simple web page for demonstration. So now, we are going to talk about our coding part. Here, we have imported our data set for training, testing, and validation purpose, and imported some of the Python libraries like NumPy, KRS, TensorFlow, Flask, etc. Down here, we have provided our trained model of VGG16. In this piece of code, we are expanding our images dataset that we have provided. Here, we have created an API with the endpoint predict. After hitting this API, we will get our desired result. So now we are starting our project. So this is our, our URL in which we are running our server. So as you can see that this is the front end that we have developed for our project. So here is the front end part of our project. Here we can choose an image of our data set so so we have chosen an image of trash now we are going to click on predict on clicking it will detect which garbage it is so we have selected an image of an garbage now our code will detect which category of garbage it is so it is detected the garbage is trash so we are selecting one more category of garbage. So now we are selecting a category like glass. So this image will be detected by our code that this image is in glass. So here are some images of our input and output that we got after uh, after analyzing. So these are the images that it detects automatically and identify which garbage is it. So the conclusion of our project was to classify garbage image by passing it through our train model and predicting the type of garbage items among the six datasets that we have used to train the model. Now these images can be used for further recycling purpose. Here are the references that we have mentioned. Thank you.